Well, hello, Crime Stoppers. Let's see, I made one that was 27 minutes long, 22 minutes long, 15 minutes long. I'm going for the under 10 minute video. Uh, trying to, to, silver, the topic is silver and the crazy stuff that's going on on the planet right now. Okay, first off, chaos. The chaos has been fomented by the powers that be. The chaos has been created in Ukraine, right? The West dropped, knocked a, 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 yet another elected government, put up a puppet regime and the puppet regime has fallen apart. Same thing happened in Libya, same thing happened in Egypt. The, the people recognize our puppets and push them down. Uh, Israel. This is very interesting to me because the U.S. media has lost control of dialogue. The mainstream media around the world has lost control of dialogue. It used to be that you couldn't criticize Israel without being called an anti-Semite and Nazi and oh my God. Okay, now people are starting to see it for what it is, which is genocide, which is apartheid, which is... You, what? You got three guys kidnapped? And it turns out they probably weren't kidnapped. But even if it was, let's just let's just pretend for a second. We'll just play along with the propaganda. That three guys were kidnapped. Does that justify you going in there and killing a thousand innocents? Right? You may have gotten 200 people from Hamas, but there are, what, uh, now we're well over 1,200 deaths, most of them civilians, and out of those civilians, many, many, many of them children. Children. Okay, so you point this out, and it used to be you were an anti-Semite. No, no, no. Okay, I'm not pro-Israel. I'm not pro-Palestine. I'm not I'm right, not my circus, not my monkeys. But I'm amazed that you can post stuff on Facebook now and not get attacked from all sides. Right? It's now you've gotten to the point where uh, people are getting backed in the corner because when they support Israel, they're being called out for being baby killers. They're being called out for supporting, you know, and people are really touchy about it. And, uh, anyway. The, but the point being is that it's amazing that they have lost control of dialogue. Okay, because of social media and so forth. So the point, what's this got to do with silver? Okay, well, during these events when you've got war and when you've got chaos, people, there's usually this thing called flight to safety. People run to uh, safety. Precious metals are usually safety. So you would expect the price of precious metals to go up. They haven't. we got a little spike, but now they're pushing it back down again. And that's the point. The markets are absolutely rigged. And you need to understand that they want the paper to look good. They want the federal the debt to look good. United States debt, United States Treasuries needs to look good. Federal Reserve note needs to look good. Right? So they make those uh, things look good on the world stage, and particularly to the, the, the dumb Americans. But the rest of the world, the demand for silver and gold is actually pretty high. But they keep the price low, and they fix that demand with paper. So you get a piece of paper that says you own an ounce of silver, and you know what? A hundred other people have a piece of paper that says they own that same ounce of silver. Who gets the ounce of silver when the dust settles? I don't know. That's why I want to have my own silver in my own hands. Okay, now, the price of silver is, as we speak, it's dropping. Let me, I was just looking at this. Hold on a second. Uh, I, can, I can read it to you directly. I'm, I'm looking over here at a dollar collapse, great website. Uh, dollarcollapse.com, and I'm just looking at the charts here. And as I speak, uh, gold is at where is gold at 1280.10. Uh, is that what that says? And it's down thirteen dollars and forty cents. Uh, s silver is at twenty thirty seven, down a quarter. Uh, wait, let's refresh this. Just make sure this is the latest information. Uh, oops, it's only down twenty three now. It's at twenty thirty nine, and gold is at. 1281.30 down 13.20 and the US dollar is still up above 80 the USD index and that's not the US dollar that is a Federal Reserve note printed by a private company that loans money to the, you've heard the story a hundred times anyway 81.45 it's up actually three cents even though it's it had peaked earlier in the day it was much higher and then uh, but it's still up three cents okay so the point here is that until they absolutely lose control of this it's not going to the moon. It's going sideways and down. So continue to stack. Continue to collect. Don't, you know, bet the farm thinking that you're going to turn your 100 bucks into $1,000 in two years. You might, but then your $1,000 is going to be $1,000 in Federal Reserve note money two years from now, which is going to be not $1,000 of value today. Okay, they're printing money like crazy, and you know it. They're doing all these things to devalue our currency and make it. Inflation has to be because we have this huge pile of debt, and the more inflation there is, the easier it is to manage that debt. 
okay, the powers that be understand they need to make gold and silver look like crap, that look like metal that you don't want, look like barbarous relics. They need to have a full propaganda campaign about that. Okay, they're going to lose control of that too, just like they lost control of the, the, the story in Palestine, just like they've lost control of you know the internet and 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 the mainstream media now is looked and laughed at they people know that those people are looking right into the camera and lying to you and they're pretty people with lots of right uh pretty faces i mean the women the women on on the on the news they're all beautiful right they all have a form of beauty uh, the men are all good looking and they lie to you and they know that if they're good looking and you know well dressed and sharp looking people that you are less likely to, to suspect them of a lie. But now people have figured out that they're lying directly to the ca All these old newscasters knew, and they know, and people are tired of it, so they're turning to alternative media. Alternative media, it doesn't, I mean, calls it like they see it. And when you're killing kids by the thousands, or hundreds, uh, you, you're not the good guys. Uh, same thing in the same thing in in our country when our boys came back from Iraq, figuring out that wait a minute they have more in common with the Iraqi people than they did with the guys that sent them there, because the guys that sent them there are all billionaires, and and the Iraqi people are just like them, just want to raise their kids, just you know want to have maybe a few beers on Friday, and raise their kids the way they want in the religion that they choose and be left alone. And our boys figured out, oh, wait a minute here. A lot of them did. Now, uh, what we had, and see, with us, what, I just, I, it's interesting that it's three kids and they go over and kill thousands. And then with us, it was 3,000 people, if 9-11. And then we went and killed hundreds of thousands. So we got nothing to say as a, as a nation. We have no moral high ground when it comes to anything. Even the jetliner. Did we accidentally shoot down a jet, uh, the Iranian jet? Oops. We got nothing. We have no more. Our nation no longer has any moral high ground anywhere. Deal with it. The the bottom line here, guys, is uh, people are waking up all over. Though people are starting to figure out that wait a minute, uh, it's not my country right or wrong. It's wrong to kill children. We should stop these wars. We, it's ridiculous that we spend these trillions of dollars and, and say then we, we don't have enough money to feed our homeless, to house our old people, to house our veterans that come back. Uh, that to educate our children, to teach whatever the hell it is, to invest in industry, to fix our in infrastructure, people are starting to figure out the war propaganda lie also that war costs us because all that money being spent over there means that it's not being spent over here and that guns and butter, it's guns. And maybe just a little bit of butter. Okay, while we have all these crazy things going on in the world, there's usually the flight to the, to the safety of precious metals and tangible assets, farmland, stuff, tangible stuff that can produce factories, but even then, um, art, whiskey, all kinds of crazy things, but you know, tangible things, not paper. The paper's going to zero. Paper's always gone to zero. Paper never has not gone to zero. Precious metals have never gone to zero. Precious metals will always be worth something in whatever system of exchange, medium of exchange comes up. If you have sound money, gold and silver are going to be worth a lot more than they are now. Because right now, they, they're being pushed down on purpose so that the paper looks good. Okay, they're not going to lose control of this. It's not going to, right? And when they do lose control, they will have lost control. I used to have a car like this. You used to have a car, and the, and the saying was that it doesn't break loose, but if you do break loose, you, you pushed it past its limit, and you're not getting it back until you slow down. Um, the, it's the same thing with our currency. Is that and the same thing with this whole financial system is that it's they push it, push it, push it, and then when it breaks loose, it's there's no getting it back. Okay, there's never been a time in history that silver has gone to zero. There have never been a time, there has never been a time in history when paper hasn't gone to zero. Fiat currencies always go to zero, always, always, always. It doesn't happen instantly though. People are expecting it to fall apart tomorrow. And for silver prices to go through the roof in the next three or five months, probably not. Now, I've been calling it, right, that it's going to be sideways and down. And I've got video after video to show it. Continue. My call is still sideways and down. But on the 15th, there's going to be time to reevaluate because the London fix goes out. I've asked lots of people what they think. Nobody has any idea. 
most of us uh, have come to the conclusion that what's going to happen is there'll be a new fix. The free market is not going to determine the price of silver, but there's going to be a whole new industry that they've created for themselves, re-adjusting uh, and rewriting the contracts uh, that were based on the fix that ends in two weeks. You watch. Guys are going to become wealthy just, reading those, just rewriting those contracts. What the new determinant is going to be, I don't know how they're going to determine the price of silver, but it sure as hell isn't going to be the free market. It sure as hell isn't going to be, they're not going to lose control of the silver price in two weeks. Um, you might buy some silver now under 20 just in case. And I, what's a good time to buy precious metals? As I just heard on one video or another that I watched, actually I've heard it now about three times on different, any time is a good time to buy precious metals. You guys that got it at 45 when it was going up and you were thinking that it was going to go and then it has come back down again. Buy more. The uh, the uh, case that uh, at 45, it's 10 times as strong at 20. So a lot of people don't understand that. But I mean, absolutely, the silver is worth, it's worth so much more than $20 an ounce. They can't even pull out of the ground at the price that we've got now. Uh, it should be fairly obvious that you want silver uh, and gold. Um, and you want that not so that you become wealthy because one day silver in FRNs is going to be priceless. But when the FRN is worth nothing anyway, who cares if you can get a crap load of FRNs for your for your ounce of silver? And you got to stop thinking like that. What you're doing is preserving your wealth so that in any uh, currency or in any system of uh, medium of exchange that comes up afterwards, and hopefully it's an honest, sound money medium of exchange that we put in there, not... Because what they're going to do is offer us a system that's just as bad or worse as the old system. And people have to be educated enough to go, no, we, you need sound money. You can't just print money out of thin air. And when that happens, it's going to be interesting because the way, reason why we have the military we have is because we print all that money and spend more money on our military than the rest of the world spends on their militaries combined. People don't, some, some people don't understand that. But the reason why we can do that is because we have this Federal Reserve System that allows us to print as much money as we want. They get $3 billion. Israel gets $3 billion in foreign aid, half of our foreign aid, because we can print as much money as we want. This nation is bankrupt. We are in our third bankruptcy cycle. And if you under, that's a whole other thing. People that start to understand the UCC and, and so forth, understanding that this nation is, there isn't any money. And the government set up a system that they didn't tell you about that pays that your debt is prepaid. You are a serf, a slave on this ranch. You have your you have been birth registered and flip that social security number over and take a look at the numbers in the back and understand what those little red numbers mean and understand securities and then you gotta get into the DTC and then I'm totally off subject again. But the idea with silver is that it's going to oh look, an economic flux capacitor. Uh what's gonna happen is we're gonna have uh silver retain its value, gold retain its value, palladium, platinum, etc. Uh, and you'll be able to exchange it for goods and services that you want. Uh, but also, in the new medium of exchange, you will be able to uh, change it into paper, the new paper, I'm not talking about Federal Reserve notes or, you know, uh, U.S. Treasuries, and trade, right? And then you, got, and then you need to understand that that system is about to change. We are about to have a huge change. So the new system is all you're doing is taking your wealth from the old system to the new system in the form of gold and silver. And then in the new system, when that comes about, you'll be able to have money. And I don't know how much it's going to be worth. And I don't know if an ounce of silver is going to make you wealthy in the, in the future. I do know that it's going to preserve the wealth that you already have. Now, if we go back and revision to mean silver is going to be worth a lot more in whatever system it is than it is now. Because, uh, but even if it just goes back to being how it used to be, look, in the 1960s, three bucks would buy you dinner and a bottle of wine and, and, and. Um, right now, three ounces of silver, three silver dollars are worth about 60 bucks, which will buy you dinner and a cheap bottle of wine. Um, same thing, like, you know, a quarter will buy about as much gas as it used to in the 60s. It has held its value. So it is a store of wealth. It's not a way to get wealthy. It's a way to store wealth. And it, it precious metals, if you understand money and how money works, have always been in, like I said, 50 languages throughout time have been the way to go. Paper is a new thing. It's our the current paper system has only been since 1913. It's 101 years old. It's about to go. It's about to go. There has never been a time when fiat currency hasn't gone to zero.
keep repeating that. Okay, well, I didn't make it. I'm back to 15 minutes. But the idea here, guys, is get some. When the price goes under 20, get some more. Um, wait and see. In, in two weeks, I'll come up with another video. I'm just excited to see what happens. What happens when the fix goes out? What are they going to do? What bullshit story are they going to give us this time? Uh, it should be fun. And then as, as the price should creep up as we go into December, uh, it'll you know, be time to reassess again. But right now here at 20, get it. I don't think we're going to we're gonna revisit 20 uh, again. Just like I told people we weren't going to revisit 5. We're not going back to 5. It's never going back to 5, 450. I used to be able to get, you know, 10 ounces delivered to my door. Delivered to my door. 10 ounces of silver for 50 bucks. <laughs> anyway, and I just go, are you kidding me? I traded some paper. I... Uh, it still blows my mind that you can trade paper for silver. And so while you can trade the Federal Reserve notes for silver, I heartily suggest you do so. All right. Uh, educate self. Educate others. Uh, put a bunch of links down there just for fun uh, that you can look at and, you know, videos and so forth to watch. And we'll talk to you soon. E pluribus unum.